Hi everyone, this is Mahab Ali, and we are um, recording an activity called Roses and Thorns and Buds, if you want. Um, I learned this activity um, from Priya Parker, who has a beautiful book called The Art of Gathering, and I learned this from her um, newsletter. And basically what she says she was doing, she does it with her kids, is that at the end of each day, she would ask them what or were the roses today and what were the thorns so basically what went well what's making you happy and the thorns what are the pain points things you're not so happy with and when i shared this um, with my boss she said we can also talk about buds which are like things that are the beginnings or the potential for hope or something good to come and then my own daughter when i do this activity with her says there's also roots like invisible things that are foundations for the future and she said sunflowers when you plant roses and then you get sunflowers and it's a good surprise Mm -hmm. um, so we did this activity already with a larger group. Um, I did it on Mentimeter so that we could um, we could have a word cloud and it would be anonymous. So you get to see the kinds of things um, that people wrote. And we have a couple of people here with us in the room. And what we could do is after you get, you know, sort of the whole room and what everyone is saying anonymously, maybe a couple of people might want to say out loud. So I have with me um, Sadie. Are you guys seeing the... You're not right. I'm going to show you right the, now. The it's just us. Yeah. Yeah. Just so the Mentimeter for a second. So people see what it would look like. So clearly more than one person wrote blogging in my fest. That's why those mm -hmm. are bigger. But then the other things are, are smaller. So Sadie and Cheryl, what are some of your roses that you're happy to share with other folks? Mine was the cuddle cat. Oh. <laughs> I was curious about who put the, the cat, cat around. There. Can we see I, them? It, so no, it's it's I the cat's at home and I'm in the office today. But the um he's an outdoor cat that I go outside every morning and evening to feed. And a lot of times, instead of wanting to eat right away, he wants to cuddle first, which is really cute. So I sit oh. on a chair in the backyard and he jumps up and we cuddle. And then he's like, "Okay, now I'm hungry," and I feed him. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's delightful. Oh. Yeah, what about you, Sadie? Yeah, I put family. Uh, as I said, I was on vacation last week, um, and yeah. so I got to see a lot of family members that we haven't seen in a, a while, uh, maybe since last summer or some even before that. Um, so it was good. And also, uh, my husband's son and I kind of road tripped to this family event. So we also got like good time um, with my husband and son. Um, so it was just a, a really nice reconnection um, with family. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next question was about thorns. And to an extent, I would never want to end with the thorns question, so I'm glad that we have the buds later. Yeah. <laughs> but are you, ha are you comfortable sharing one of your thorns? My, my, thorn, my thorn was the spout, my spouse got COVID. Oh, you're um, one of the um, ones. Yeah, I was I know what ironically, your now. <laughs> ironically, he he got it while we were getting our um, booster shot. Oh, that oh. happens a lot. That, that, we went, we went a lot of people. We went into a drugstore to get the booster shot. And um, I like, we were we had to wait about a half an hour. And I, I wore a mask and he did not. And I said, do you want to want me to go to the car and get your mask? You know, you could wear one. And he was like, No, it'll be fine. And then he got COVID. Um, mm -hmm. So that was annoying, <laughs> mm -hmm. but um, yeah. So you know what my bud is. I'll let yeah. another person share share their yeah. thorn. Sadie, go ahead. Yeah. So um, as I mentioned, I was on vacation last week, which was great. But then you know how you get back. There's like a lot of things that kind of like pile up, and also yeah. I'm just like ready to get back to work and like get some things done, and I'm um, excited, you know, about getting back to work. Um, but then. Uh, my childcare provider is like suddenly taking care of someone who has COVID. Um, so just like last minute scramblings, mm. you know, yesterday trying to arrange childcare and now I'm taking more time off later this week that I hadn't really planned to take off, which is just like a little stressful when you're, you know, have yeah. just been on vacation and yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nothing, nothing terrible. I think everyone's fine. Um, yeah. no one's terribly sick, but it's just yeah. kind of annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I hope everyone yeah. who has COVID recovers and has a mild uh, version. Just realizing that our initial videos never had conversations about COVID specifically because everything was in lockdown. So fewer people were actually getting it in our circles mm -hmm. because we're all in education and you know things were closed and so on. But now because everything opens, more people are actually getting it. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, hopefully everyone gets better soon. So the last question was about the bud, and yeah, Cheryl, just say your bud really quickly, and and touch wood. Uh, uh, I I managed to avoid getting COVID from my spouse, which was great uh, because I was exposed for a couple of days before we realized he had it and started taking precautions. But uh, later, if anybody wants, I can share what, like how we did that because it okay. it was we had a plan and we re- we worked the plan and the plan worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sadie, do you want to share real quick before I close the breakout rooms? Sure. Yeah. So mine was, um, as I said, we kind of reconnected with some extended family over the last week. Um, and, um, my husband's, um, half brother and, um, his girlfriend and and their two daughters are going to come down to California. And I think, um, they're actually going to visit us while they're here. Um, which is great because we haven't really got a chance over the last couple of years with, you know, fewer visits and things like that to get to know them very well. So, excited about that. Okay, thank you. I am going to close the breakout rooms because people are kind of close the recording Mm -hmm. because people are coming back from the breakout room.